Hey, it's Joe Glides from The Automator. And the other day, someone asked about how to get, you know, the name of a person from an Outlook email as well as some other information. And so I thought I'd go ahead and throw this into a quick video demonstrating a little script here. But also this URL over my head here, that's where you can go on The Automator and get a lot of examples of other Outlook videos where we've, we've done looping over emails. There's a webinar we did on Outlook, which is pretty powerful. Uh, pretty pretty good information there. So let's jump into the script. All right, so this example here, um, right now, let's walk through it here before I launch it. And um, here I'm just connecting to Outlook, the Active Explorer. This is saying, hey, get the selected email in Outlook. So make sure you have an email selected uh, and then you know proceed through the, the rest of the script. Uh, so all of that gets stored in the, the, the link to the email or um, the, the reference to the email is here in I, and then each of these attributes here, so I receive time, I subject, I sender name, I sender email address, um, I body, I HTML. These are all attributes in the in the Outlook object that you can access, and there's a lot more too, right? But the, just someone was asking about the, the sender name. And so depending, of course, on what they have listed, you know, that may not be exactly, they want to use it in the mail merge, so that may not be exactly it, but let's go ahead and demonstrate. I'm gonna go into Outlook right now and just select an email. So just make sure it's it's active, right? And that's what we're gonna look at here with this com active explorer selection item. So that's gonna say, that, go get that email and then store the information in I, and then we're gonna loop over, th not loop over, but uh, we're gonna programmatically grab like the, the time it was received, uh, the subject, the sender name, the email address, um, there's the body HTML, there's other attributes you can access as well, but here are just a couple to give you an idea. So I'm gonna launch it, so time received, it was uh, I think today at uh, 11.06. The subject, how to speed up a slow iPhone. The sender name was how to geek. So now granted, you know, depending on the person, the, the person that wanted this information wanted to automate, you know, writing that person's name back to them in the reply, I think, and this is one way you can get it. There's other attributes you might check, or you might have to, you know, highlight the name in the email. It just depends if, you know, if uh, how regular it is they use it. Or what you could do is create a dictionary and then, you know, programmatically get this and say, hey, when it's this, put in Bob, right? Whatever their name is, right? And just have that stored. And that way uh, you can programmatically, you know, reference the person. Um, it's a one-time thing, you'd have to do it, right? But then you want to worry about it. Uh, this next one here, so here's the email address. This is the, the newsletter I get from How to Geek. Uh, and then the body, I'm dumping it into here so you can see it. So we have programmatic access to the the body. Um, this is like a, an RTF kind of view of it. Uh, and then the very next one is the HTML version and I'll just get rid of that because we can stop it. So that's all, which obviously you probably don't want to be grabbing stuff this way, but yeah, it allow, I'm just showing you, you know, you have full access to that email and there's a lot of other fields you need to look up the, I'll, I'll try to find the, the Outlook office reference for that object for the, for each email, uh, cause there's a big list of stuff. So hope that helps. Um, check out the webinar we did on it. It's, it's, you know, there's a lot of great stuff in Outlook and it is a bit complicated in the, the Outlook object itself is, is somewhat complex. Uh, but of course the complexity means that there's a lot of information there that you can use. Cheers.